everyone, Rhonda here from Cali Girls Crafts and Hauls, and I just thought I'd pop on. I just got back from the Dollar Tree with my granddaughters, and um, I picked them up early from school, and we had a Dollar Tree afternoon. And so I just thought I'd show you what we picked up. No rhyme or reason to this. It's just whatever pulls out of the basket first, or out of the bag first. Found some AIM toothbrushes. These are the soft. And these are pretty nice. They're the Massage Pro. You buy one, you get one free. So never fails. I never fail to get my toothbrushes there. I do like their toothbrushes. And we do change them, especially if someone's trying to get sick. You should change your toothbrushes regularly. So, but these are the nice ones. They're by, made by AIM. So I think, I think they'll work out nice. Usually I've been getting the um, Reach ones there, the two are those. So then in that aisle there, we did pick up the Headache PM. I do have to have this once in a great while. So I pick up a couple bottles just for the stash. Let's see. Oh, found this cute little thing. This is a hair, a hair bow. Well, actually it's a scrunchie with a little bow on the bottom. And I thought that was so cute. My little granddaughter is gonna love that. So yes, she is. She's, she loves, she's such a girly girl and she loves these little like hair um, scrunchies with the bows on the bottom. And this one's made by Fashion Accessories. I don't, I've never seen that one there at the, Dollar Tree, but doesn't mean that it's new or not new. I just never seen that brand there. And let's see, what else? Oh, I found some nautical rope here. Um, this one, I have seen a lot of DIYs, and so I thought I'm just gonna have it in my stash because you never know when you need some nautical rope. I've seen cute, um, the beehives made um, out of this, out of um, my DIY channel. And um, she is Kathy, and she is such a great crafter there. And everybody's her bestie, and I just love her, but, and her bird and her puppy. But anyways, she was using something like this in, in the one DIY. She was, I think it was a little darker though. It wasn't this light color. But this one is an actual 11.1 feet. You do need to watch these. Some of them are only nine feet. So I like to find them when, when they are the 11 feet because you do get a little bit more bang for your buck. So I picked up a few of those to have on hand for some DIYs. And let's see, what else? Oh, I did find, of course, she did a bee, a little bee one with her little beehive. So found a couple of these little bees and I love them. They're the pot hangers, but I'm gonna take these off and just use the actual bees for, for, the, for the hive. And let's see, oh, let's just go down this one here. I did find down in the 4th of July aisle, um, not our, our stuff is not out all the way yet. So I don't know, we're just boxes and everything yet. So I just, some of it are, some of it's out and some of it's not. But anyways, this was hanging up and I thought this was so cute. It's got like all the little popsicles and ice creams and it says star stripes and summer nights and that's a flag along with this little flag and that one I love it because of the camper and of course they're grilling and it's just adorable and it says um does it say God bless America I believe it does I don't know what I did with my glasses of course I gotta dig through the stuff to get them don't mind me let's see it just says bless the USA so Oh, my God isn't on there, but I believe that, you know, it should be. But anyways, I just love that. I thought it was really pretty to hang out front. It's got the flag and little camper on there, and I just I just love it. Bless the USA. We need that now, guys, for sure. So, and I found some flowers. These are so pretty, and I don't need any more flowers, but I did find some flowers. <laughs> I just love these. I don't know why, but they just caught my eye and they had pink and then they had this pretty peach and this pretty white one and I just couldn't stop. I said, I gotta pick them up. They are called a spike. So I don't know, you know, you just to decorate around here with, I will use them in some of my, my vases or in some of my, um, decorating home decorating i do like to decorate with some of the 
um, fake flowers. I need to take these off. These aren't, I can't see very well out of them. And here's another one of the ropes and my bee. <laughs> there you go. Yep, there's the other rope and then another bee. The little thing I seen, she had two bees on it and then of course the rope she used for the hive part. But it was adorable. So I will put that away for one of my crafts. You know, when I do get bored or when I wanna do a craft. I've not been in the mood lately. I don't know why. Excuse me, I don't mean to be rustling bags around. But I did find, of course, I always buy some gum. Gotta have my double mint. And yes, we will pick up some Kit Kats there. Gotta have a little chocolate once in a while. Who doesn't? I did find some of the Glad sandwich bags. I ran out of sandwich bags, so I do buy them in larger quantities, but I thought, you know what? These will do in a pinch, and they are the double zippered, so, you know, hey, 44 bags for $2. You know, some places you spend a lot more for that. Oh, I was going to give one of the girls. I ended up buying these little books there. The Capricorn and the Scorpio. I have a Capricorn. I actually... Both of my granddaughters are Capricorns, so I need to give that to them. That's one thing I bought, and I, I didn't even tell them I just picked it up. But anyway, and my mom was a Capricorn. My sister's a Capricorn. There's a lot of Capricorns, so. And then I'm Scorpio, so I thought that would be an interesting little read for 2021. So I don't really believe in a lot of that, but I just think it's kind of fun once in a while just to pick them up and read through them. I did find well, more Kit Kats and then, of course, a couple Hershey candy bars. These, you know, that's not probably the best buy for a dollar, but when you want a Hershey candy bar, you yeah, want a Hershey candy bar, you know? And then I did find these and I was so excited because I have been meal prepping for um, my youngest son that, um, for, and I'll tell you, these are perfect size. These are only one and a half cups and they sell them in the two and I actually bought just two and now I found them in the three. So yeah, they are and they, they seal really nice and they stack nice. So I'm, I'm really happy I found those and in the three. So I thought that was a good deal. Oops, sorry. Let me get that out of the way. Okie doke. Let's see what this is, what this bag will bring. Oh, here's some more food in here. I found these. I was down the baking aisle there. And I know this is fall. I don't know why they got it out now, but this is the apple brown sugar cookie mix. And I thought, you know what? Give it a try. And it's a large size. So this is a pretty good size one. It's not the small one. And it is, let's see, one pound, 1.5 ounce. So yeah, so I picked up a couple of them. And who doesn't like apples? you know, apple brown sugar cookies. I think I will. And I know it's not fall, but you know, what the heck. And these are good. Let me tell you the good dates yet, because you know, sometimes I did have to look that. I thought maybe they're not very good, but yeah, they are. They are good up until, wow, August. I know I've seen them in the store, August 21. So, you know, they're packaged, they're sealed. I believe they would last all the way up until next fall if you wanted to try them then too. So I will, I will try them. I, I'm not afraid of packaged dry goods like that, especially with a good seal on them. So uh, now if it was a wet thing or if it was a, you know, the seal wasn't great on them, I don't think I'd keep them past, you know, try it past, but I know I would for them, so and don't mind me this is i do this is staple here at our house the chicken flavored rice um the sides the nors we love it it's that's what i need meal prep a lot and we do use it when they do make some chicken and rice and i it's an easy easy peasy meal there <laughs> easy squeezy peasy meal they did have the panasonic triple a batteries and i do pick them up whenever i oh, see them so good deal they are the super heavy duty power ones so these for a dollar you can't beat them you know i mean even if you just store them in your battery daddy that i have <laughs> i do have a battery daddy almanac cookies i did run into one of the ladies there that works 
actually at our local Dollar Tree and she was in line behind me. And she told me, she had a package of these and I was buying the little lemon ones, the little lemon, um, uh, like um, sugar, not co sugar cookie, but um, I can't think of the names of them, but they were just the lemon cookie. And um, she says, oh, one of her people that came through her line told her these are the best cookies ever. If you love like almonds and you like the flavor of a, of like the, like a sugar cookie, but it's not really a sugar cookie. And she said they are the best ones. And um, these are an actual brand. I mean, Almanette. So, you know, for a dollar, I will pick them up. So, and then of course, more candy, Kit Kats. I pick up all these because I know we're not, you know, bad being, you know, diabetic and that. Once in a while, a little piece of candy does not hurt him. So, and I won't, I mean, you can't make a steady diet of candy, but yeah. More chicken and rice is in the other bag. But, yep. Okay, now, let's just do these real quick and get them out of the way too. I found the sheer antibacterial bandages. There's 40 in here. And, you know, I thought for a pinch, if you don't have any of the, the um, Neosporin or the, the triple antibiotic, these would work really good. So these will go in our little first aid kit. And I don't believe they are, they say they're not, they're not made with natural rubber latex. So I believe they're more plastic, but Anyways, like I said, in a pinch, when you have none of this antibacterial, you do in a Band-Aid. And then I did find some fabric Band-Aids also. I do love these. These come in such good hand at, at our house here. And they work so well if, you know, to wrap around a finger or a toe or somewhere that, you know, you're bending or something, but yeah. So I do pick up the bandages there. I do like their bandages. I did find, Let's see, what else did I find here? Oh, I did find a little auto eyeliner for myself. I have used this in the past and I don't mind it. It's actually on today and I don't mind it. So this one's in the black and it's smudge proof and um, I like it. It doesn't make my eyes feel funny or anything like that. I, it works out really good. Let's see, I must have really, well, I had my girls with me, so of course we were all, I think, a little hungry because it was after school, so. Got some more Snickers. These, I do hide, not hide them, but I put them away, so they're not all out at the one time. They only get like a treat, you know, here and there, and then I'll put some away, and then they'll get some more treats, and anyways, I don't put them all out. Okay, now, call me silly, call me crazy. I don't know what you wanna call me, but you know, just, just, just whatever. I found these cute little troll dolls. I don't know why I picked them up, but I think I got all of them <laughs> in the little um, series but I just couldn't help it. I just thought they were too cute. You know, they, I've not seen them at our Dollar Tree before. And these are the Troll World Tour dolls. And they, I've got five of them. That's what they, I believe, have in the, in the group. So I'm not sure. I haven't watched any of the trolls, but this is what they look like. And I know my little ones, a couple of, a couple of the little girls that I do, well, granddaughter and, and my little little friend, I believe they like the little ones like that. They love little things like that. You never know when you need a little gift for someone too. These are, you know, kind of a cute little item to throw into a bag or a package. Birthdays, you know, for especially birthdays for, let's say for, one of your children having a surprise birthday party for a little friend at school or something. These are perfect little ideas. They actually had the um, little ponies too. And they, those were mystery bags. And you know, I usually buy the mystery bags because I do like them myself. But um, I thought, nah, I, not my, any of my children are really in, grandkids are into them. But these I do believe I can, 
coax them into taking them. <laughs> I think they'll like them. Then, of course, I found everyone's hauling these. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and haul them too. I'm going to buy one and try it. This is the Hawaiian Salt and Citrus brand smell. And it is uh, the set of bamboo. I believe those are bamboo steak sticks that go down. Let's just open it up right now. It's like this. It's the little bamboo with the, with the, you put your sticks down into the scent and you smell good. Your house smells good. I've always, when they first came out, I was gung ho on these. I mean, years ago when they first started coming out with these, like, little smelly things in bottles and and sticks i was i was so intrigued with them i always had them out somewhere and you know i didn't really smell them that well but now i'm i'm hoping they've gotten better you know i it wasn't just dollar tree brand i was buying other brands also so i mean i don't even think dollar trees had them out that long but um they might have i haven't seen them Anyways, I think this is supposed to come off somehow and I can't get it off, but anyways, you get the drip. These are little, little sticks, individual. I can't seem to break the tape. I have no, my fingernails are not strong enough to pull it apart. So we'll just pretend I did that. Let's take, this comes in a little bottle like this with a lid. Thank goodness a screw on lid even. Oh, it smells good. So what I'll do is you take your little bamboo shoots or what, and then you stick them down in here. And what they do is they um, soak up the smell and then it comes out and smells your area. They don't really smell a lot of the area, probably just within a couple feet of the area, but these would be good in a bathroom, maybe even in a bedroom, you know, and that, so. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna put it in our bathroom and see if I can smell it. But this smells really good. I like the Hawaiian citrus, guys. This, um, the Hawaiian salt and citrus. It smells fresh and clean. So if you like that type of stuff, get them. They had a bunch of others and I just thought I'm gonna try this one. So, and I'll probably be sad that I didn't get the other ones. I have seen some of the girls haul them and they've even said after they've, um, you know, this evaporates, because it will evaporate. Uh, once that's gone, you can actually put your essential oils in there and uh, let it let it soak up and smell. So, yeah, why not? But I'm gonna try and get them to them them little bamboo sticks apart, so that way, because there's a little tape right here and I can't get it off. I'm gonna get the scissors and pull it off of there. But yeah, this was my haul. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. I had a good time this afternoon. Oh, I did pick up some more epoxy. I have been loving this. So if you use it for anything, crafts, anything, making your tiered trays, any of that stuff, this works great. So if you're using it on glass or anything, so try it, try it. So hope everybody's having a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. It's Taco Tuesday here for us, so I better get busy <laughs> and um, enjoyed having a nice afternoon again with my grands and, and I'm thankful and blessed. So y'all have a good afternoon and take good care and hope to see you again. Thank you for watching and if you enjoy this, come on back, uh, push the subscribe button and come on back and I'll be here once in a while. I do like to do DIYs and I promise I will get them up. I'm going to, I've got a couple really major ones that I'm thinking about and maybe I'll even do the DIY with the little honey pot over here. So take good care and God bless until we see each other again. Be good. <laughs> I don't know what to say to end it, but thank you. <laughs> take care.